Arthrex presents the deltoid ligament reconstruction technique utilizing the deltoid ligament reconstruction implant system. A 4 to 6 centimeter incision is created to visualize the insertion sites of the deltoid ligament on the medial malleolus, talus, and sustentaculum. Insert the spade tip drill pin into the medial malleolus at the site of the intercollicular groove. The drill pin should be aimed anterolaterally to a point 5 to 6 centimeters above the ankle joint and lateral to the anterior tibial crest. The drill pin should exit the leg anterolaterally medial to the course of the superficial perineal nerve. The drill pin is over drilled to a depth of 40 millimeters. Do not violate the far cortex of the tibia. The tendon graft is looped through the tightrope device and the four fiber wire sutures from the tightrope construct are then loaded through the open eyelid of the pin to be shuttled through the medial malleolar tunnel. Pull the sutures proximally until the button exits the tibial cortex. Under fluoroscopic visualization, pull tension on the free limbs of the graft construct distally to ensure proper tensioning of the button. Toggle the white sutures proximally to pull 15 millimeters of the graft loop into the tunnel. Aiming in a slight plantar direction, a guide pin is placed at the insertion site of the deep anterior tibial talar ligament. This is one centimeter posterior to the anterior corner of the medial talar trochlea, immediately inferior to the articular cartilage. The guide pin is over drilled to a depth of 17 millimeters. The graft will still slide through the tibial tunnel. Pull on the posterior limb of the allograft to shorten the anterior limb. Insert and fix the anterior limb of the allograft, which has been previously whip stitched, into the talus using blind tunnel tenodesis technique. For cortical button fixation in the calcaneus, use the spade tip drill pin to create a bicortical tunnel in the calcaneus, starting one centimeter anterior to the posterior edge of the sustentaculum. Aim slightly plantar and posterior to avoid the subtalar joint and perineal tendons. Over drill the guide wire to a depth of 15 millimeters. Tension the free limb of the graft and make a pen mark at the insertion point of the graft into the calcaneal tunnel. Trim the graft 15 millimeters distal to this mark and whip stitch the distal 15 millimeters of the graft using a number two fiber loop suture. Pass the free ends of the whip stitch through the cortical button as shown to create a tension slide construct. Insert the button and sutures through the calcaneal tunnel until the button exits the lateral aspect of the calcaneus. The button is engaged laterally by unscrewing the back of the driver body and toggling on the blue fiber wire sutures. Further toggling of the fiber wire sutures exiting medially properly tensions the graft. Securely suture the tendon at the calcaneal tunnel entry using a free needle. Finally, insert the tenodesis screw into the calcaneal tunnel for additional interference fixation. Final tension of the construct is achieved by once again toggling the white tightrope sutures exiting superiorly at the tibia. Once proper tension is achieved, the blue tightrope sutures are pulled out of the button and the white sutures are cut. Alternatively, calcaneal fixation may be provided solely by an interference screw. In this case, a guide pin is inserted into the sustentaculum and directed slightly plantarly and posteriorly. The guide pin is over drilled to a depth of 17 millimeters. The free limb of the graft is tensioned. The insertion site to the calcaneus is marked with a pen, and the graft is trimmed 15 millimeters distal to this mark. The distal 15 millimeters of the graft is then whip stitched with fiber loop. The tendon is inserted into the calcaneal tunnel using blind tunnel technique and fixed using the tenodesis screw. Final tension of the construct is achieved by once again toggling the white tightrope sutures exiting superiorly at the tibia. Once proper tension is achieved, the blue tightrope sutures are pulled out of the button and the white limbs should be cut. This completes the repair.